all the excitement about? Looks like this train's gonna take on another chicken and a young rooster. Yep, they're going to city on the honeymoon. They sure got a swell day for it. Jack, the day of the day is the night. <laughs> you like married life? Mrs. Collins. Doesn't that sound funny? <laughs> you better get used to it. Gee, they sure make these coaches comfortable, don't they? Look, the bell for the waiter, two reading lamps and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got an idea. Let's put these up and make it sort of home. Yeah, that's hmm? a good idea. I'll help you. I'll put this over on the piano. Hmm? Piano? Sure. In the bedroom. Yeah, why not? It's wherever I want it to be. Well, the bedroom's okay with me. No. It's the dining room. And it's seven o'clock and you're just returning home from a hard day at the office. Oh. Go on. Go on what? Go on, pretend. <laughs> Here. Ring and I'll let you in. Oh, listen, I'm not very good at this. Oh, come on, Jim. It's fun. <laughs> okay. Be going around honeymoon curve. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. You happy? Yeah, we are. It'll last always, won't it, Jim? Mm -hmm. We'll make it last. Mm -hmm. Shh. They're sound asleep. Are they? Oh. The children, Dumbbell. Oh, <laughs> the children. How many we got? Well, how many would you like? Oh, about a half a dozen. All right. We'll see what we can do about it. Hey, let me have this a minute. Oh, no. It's unlucky. All right. I'll do it this way. It's just as good. Oh, Jimmy. I'm not hurting anything. That'll last as long as the window lasts. Just think. Thousands of people will use this train after we've gone. They'll all see it and wonder about it. Uh-huh. Wonder if they'll be as happy as we are. Get a wink of sleep. Not a wink, brother. Not a wink. Come on, dear. Jim, this has been a lovely honeymoon. Darling.
75 cents, lady. I'm sorry I can't manage a better tip. My well, lady, there's something that don't give me none at all. What do you miss? Hello, Bob. Merry Christmas. What are you made up for, Santa Claus? I'm waiting for my wife. Wish you luck. Yes, ma'am? Is this a good mystery story? Excellent. The butler kills him, and you'll never guess why until the last chapter. Thank you. I'll take it. You are a man who will go through life carrying a heavy load. Sure. Young man. My dear lady, I've told you 57 times. The train is four hours late. But we have dinner at seven. Lady, will you please move on? Can't you see I'm very busy? Thanks. I don't believe he knows a thing. Baggage? I've got some. Have you time? Time for what? Why, that's a magazine. Oh, surely. Have your life? Yes. Judge? Yes. That evening post? Yes. Outlook? Yes. I'll have a package of gum and variety. An actor, huh? I saw you at the theater this week. Good. Well, I'm leaving. Good. Hello, Vera. Why, bless my soul, if it isn't Joe Scaru. All made up like Astor's pet horse. Who's the victim? I've got a millionaire that's worth his weight in gold. Yeah, well, if I'm any judge of human nature, you'll have him off the gold standard in 30 days. Don't be silly. He's got nothing but $1,000 bills. He don't know it, dearie, but it's only a matter of time before he matches Penny with the newspaper boy on the corner. How do you like the mink coat? He can take it, dearie. He can take it. And so can you, dearie. So can you. Yeah, I'm Russell of the Sheriff's Office. You got my transportation here? Yep, here we are. Two for the big house and one return. Okay, thanks. Come on. Pardon me, can I carry your grip? open in two minutes, Captain. Well, I'll see you in the car. duty now. Will you leave me alone? I don't want to talk to you or any reporter. 
I'm sorry about it all. For you, kid. I don't want your pity. on Christmas Eve, but business is business. That's all right, dear. I understand. Shall I come to the train with you? Oh, nonsense. I wouldn't think of letting you. Much too drafty. You run along home, dear. Don't miss your train. I won't. I'm never too busy to see an old friend. I know it. Never too busy to take a new one. Well, see you later. Hello, dear. <laughs> darling, you're a bad boy to keep me waiting. Sorry, darling. My wife insisted on driving to the station with me. Made me late. Take those two. Something to read? All right, dear. Get me Happy Stories, Ballyhoo, and Jim Jim Jim. Hmm? Uh, uh, literary Digest? No, no. Atlantic Monthly? No. Wall Street Journal? No, no, no. Uh, snappy Stories, Ballyhoo, and Jam Jiminy Jims. You mean Jim Jam Jim? Yes, yes. Jiminy Jam Jims. <clears throat> there you are. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, shall we have a drink? <coughs> Hello, Tony. Where are you going? <coughs> I'm on the way to the Yola Sanatorium. Going to cover the Harriman suicide? Going out there to live? No, pal. To die. Good God, Tony, don't talk like that. You'll be all right. Yeah. Come on, fellas. That's us. Let's go. Come on. Back number four. Hey, Christmas. Let him be. Oh, but Jim, please, please. See that? Poor kid. I covered the trial. Yeah, so did I. I see they're going to burn him New Year's Eve. Pretty tough. Yeah. Well, so long, Dick. Merry Christmas. Same to you, Tony. Many of them. Buck up.
Tough enough as it is. Better go away, ma'am. It's no use. Oh, Jim. Jim, please. Take her away from here. I don't want to even hear her voice. We're all so sorry. What we need is some pethy music. Honey, would you like to hear me play the Victrola? Sure, I'm always ready to help a talented young musician. Now, that girl, little music won't do any harm. Tomorrow's Christmas and we all have a nice rest. Sure, everybody but me. I'm doing six shows at the Bijou Dream. Poor girl. Singing or dancing? Both, and 48 nip-ups to make it harder. How's that for a nice rest on Christmas? My cue. How's that, good? Not so good. She's the kind of a girl that hangs stockings on a Christmas tree and socks on your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dear lady, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard you remark that you were a dancer. Yeah, I'm a hooker. I warble three songs and do a buck routine for a finish. Your versatility is astounding. I used to have a troop of trained pigeons. Yes. The things got so tough I had to eat the act. Where do you play next? Bristol. I'm breaking a jump between El Paso and Montreal. Oh, Montreal. I love to see Montreal. So would I. I played it a dozen times and I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that poisonous child! Oh, it's Christmas Eve and the kid's excited. If you're not a good boy, you won't see Santa Claus. Ah, oh, there ain't no Santa Claus. Can you beat that? Yeah. The storks don't bring babies, either. He lives till morning. It won't be my fault. Don't you want to see Santa Claus? I'd sooner see that murderer down on the end there. Such morbidity. Such morbidity. Molly, I want to talk to you. Come inside. Drink it, Molly. It'll do you good.
What's the name of this coach? Uh, What's the name of this coach? Let me see. I didn't notice it. Oh, yeah, Happy Valley. Come on, then. Let's eat. Can you hear that poor man coughing? I saw him in the club car. Poor devil, he's dying on his feet. Where are you going? You ought to be in a hospital. That's where I'm going. To visit a sick friend. Is there anybody there to look after you? Yeah. No man with a scythe. The gun? That's in case the old man keeps me waiting too long. Same here. I used to be a calf boy. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Well, what is it? Knots to you. Do you like beer? Sure. There's your pretzel. <laughs> Out of my way. I'll show you a good trick. I'll show you how a cowboy catches a horse. I used hey. to be. I used to be a real cowboy. What do you call that? This, the end. <laughs> Is this the leg they put the, the electrode on? Now, easy, kid. Easy. You can still get a pardon. I didn't kill him. I swear I didn't kill him. Pull this out together now, kid. They, they shave your head, don't they? They put that awful helmet on. I've seen pictures of the chair. I can't stand it. I'll go mad. No, no, no. Pull yourself together. Here. Here, read this. Get your mind off it. Come on, come on. I was waiting there by the gate. And he wouldn't even talk to me. I know, I saw it. Why? You were there at the trial. You and your pals wrote all that dirt about me. How did it start, Molly? Want more news? No, Molly. I didn't want any more news. I'm your friend and I want to help you.
Well, after we were married, we went to the city. Jim got a grand job, and we were so happy. And he was doing very well. And then one night, Hello, darling. I thought it was about time you met my boss. Mr. Grant, my wife. How do you do? How do you do? Why didn't you tell me? I gave Jim a lift home and he asked me up for a cocktail. Oh, sure, but you're going to stay for dinner, too. Uh, you can fix up something, can't you, darling? You're not the best little cook in the world. Well, uh, I'd be delighted if it <laughs> isn't too much trouble. Oh, fine. I'll shake up a cocktail. Uh, let me help you. Now, uh, may I get the ice? And after that, he was always coming up. And he called me on the telephone. Oh, I guess he liked me all right. <coughs> Did Jim notice that? Not at first. I was in a spot, see? Grant was his boss, and I didn't want to say or do anything that would hurt Jim. But Grant was getting more and more difficult to handle. Grant, you mustn't come here. Oh, don't be so silly. Well, it isn't right. Why, it's quite all right. I was just driving by and thought I'd pop in for a moment. No harm in that, is there? You mustn't what? be here. Why, what's the matter? Please leave. Now, is that nice? Can't you be a better hostess than that? I have a little present for you. Mr. Grant, you mustn't give me presents. Well, open it up anyway. It's just a little nothing. Aren't you going to offer a little drink before you send me away? If I fix you one, will you promise to go right away? Of course, if you say so. Papers just got home to get them. Hello, Jim. Just dropped in on my way downtown. Oh. Well, I don't understand. Just leaving. Give you a lift? No. No, thanks. No, I think I'll take the subway. See you at the office. Jim, I... What's he doing here? Nothing. What's that? Did he give you this? He wanted to, but I wouldn't take it. Well, you've got it, haven't you? Why, Jim, you don't think that I... I don't know what to think. He was jealous, see? He wouldn't believe me. Thought I asked Grant up there. We had an awful scene at the office. Jim told him to keep away from me. Said he'd kill him if he didn't. Grant had him thrown out of the office.
couldn't get enough of John. Oh, he didn't say anything. But I knew he blamed me. And I was desperate. I thought I could fix things. So I called Grant. But he wouldn't speak to me. And then one night... We've just finished dinner. It's too bad I was out when you called the office. Is there anything I can do for you? Of course, of course. Well, I probably did act a bit hastily. I uh, can expect you then? Well, I suppose I could. Who was that? Oh, it was Ethel. She wanted me to run over for a minute. Oh. Do you mind? No, go ahead. I won't be long, honey. I can't blame you, Mr. Grant. It's your fault. He's always been jealous, and when he... A man behaved like a maniac. Threatened to kill me in front of half my staff. A man doesn't like that. I know, but couldn't you... Who is it? Open up or I'll keep the door in. Just a minute. Why, you dirty little... They charged him with murder. They took him away. Then he wouldn't see me. That's a shame, Mike. You wrote the trial. You wrote the story. Did you have to? Did you have to? Do I look like a streetwalker? It was on the police blotter. It was a fact. It's my job to dig up facts. thought Grant was my lover. But he heard those facts you dug up at the trial. And now he thinks I'm no good. 
And he's going to the chair, thinking that. When I hear the truth from me. <coughs> <coughs> But you're too ill. You should be lying down. No, I'm all right. But... What? You wait here. I never could open one of these things. That's the poor man who's so sick. Fine train you picked. Murderers and dying men. I give up. You're a great guy. Why don't you open the windows for these people? Opening windows and umbrellas is my specialty. Pardon me. I, I'll open that window for you. Thank you. Hurt? It's all right. Uh, oh, I guess I better have the birds made up, eh? What for? I can't sleep. Hello, Russell. Hi, Tony Richards. Yeah. Come in and talk to Collins for a minute. Wait a minute. Tony Richards of the Express, want to see him? I don't mind. What do you want? I want to talk to you all about your wife. I don't listen. Well, you're going to listen. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Do you think they'd mind? No, I don't think so. They're up in the diner. Have they any Christmas carols? Yes, here's one. Christmas time again, dear. such a blind fool, you'd know it. And I thought you ought to be on your knees right now, thanking God for a love like that. Well, you see her now? Yeah, bring her in. Yeah, I guess so. you have to see these? Or couldn't you leave us alone just for a few moments? I'm sorry, kid. I got my orders. It ain't right for anyone to visit in here. But it's Christmas Eve and I got a heart.
Well, ciao. And did I go for that turkey? The cuisine on this road is atrocious. The cuisine may be atrocious, but the chow ain't bad. Gee, a private room. Well, rather. I must travel in comfort. You got it, dearie. Up where I sleep, I can shake hands with the angels. Won't you come in and visit with us? Sure. Oh, you haven't met. Miss Vera Marks, my uh, husband, Mr. Smith. You're not the Smith that ran for president. Not quite. I'm a different Smith. I'm uh, a traveling man. Sure enough, Smith. I remember now. I bet we stopped at the same hotel a dozen times. <laughs> Darling, why not try to get a fourth-handed bridge? Oh, yes. Yes, that's an idea. Excuse me. Smoke? Sure. I beg pardon? I'm Mr. Hunt. Hunt is your name? How do you do, Mr. Hunt? What did you say your name was? Hunt. I knew I heard that name before. You just told me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I wonder if you care to play a game of bridge. Well, I don't play bridge, but I'll be there to help you. I... <laughs> Big pardon? Do you object to playing cards with strangers? For stakes? Not necessarily, as you wish. I'm very fond of bridge. Oh, delighted. I'm Jay Apple Hunt. Oh. My, uh, my wife and I and a friend wondered if you care to make a fall. Delighted, Mr. Hunt. Greg's is the name. Oh, delighted. Will you come along? Yes. I can give you a nice room with running water. I said, with running water, I'll sleep with no Indian. How much they left out the funny part. Let's see, what are we? You're vulnerable. late for me. I think I'll retire. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. Oh, Porter. Yes, sir. Is that on this road? Yes, sir. It's near the state line. We pass over the bridge about a half hour. Mm. Must be quite a sight going over a bridge like that. I think maybe I'll wait. As many of them stay up just to see it. be all right. One bust after another. Ah, well, unlucky in cars, lucky in love, huh? Good night. Good night. We've had a most enjoyable time. Night and night, folks. Why, I had two honors. So. How unusual. You 
have her make up the birth, shall we, darling? Almost 12, sweetheart. I can hear Santa Claus scraping his way down the chimney. You know what Santa's going to bring that little boobooms? If you mean, do I know what you're going to give me, the answer is yes. What would you like? I'd like a check for 25 grand. <laughs> Oh, no, no, seriously. What would you like me to give you? You heard me. Twenty-five grand. Well, I don't know what you mean. You're going to pay and like it. You're crazy. They say there's a very comfortable penitentiary upstate. You're of age, aren't you? Oh, Mr. Hunt, you flatter me. You can't blackmail me. I've committed no crime. Did you ever hear the Man Act, darling? Why, you little... Don't sweat blood, Precious. For 25 grand, I've never heard of it either. Wait here. I'll be right back. How long before we reach the state line? I have no idea. Better, sir? I've heard you coughing. Something terrible. Every time I passed your room. Oh, I'm all right, thanks. Oh. Staying up to see the bridge? I might. Did you bring boss? Yeah, can I get some coffee? Yes, yeah, sir. By the way, take about five minutes, boss. The gal is closed and I got to make it myself. This is my show. Oh, you better lie down. <coughs> Let me handle this. I've got a plan. It may work. Oh, we're crossing Devil's Dish in a minute. Do you want to come and see it? No, I am. Oh, come on. It's a great sight. You'll never forget it. Yeah, I saw it about a year ago. You did? Yeah. Come over here. Perhaps you're more explicit. Between you and me, the lady is not my wife. I thought perhaps you could advise me. You uh, pay the lady's transportation? Unfortunately, yes. Hmm. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, 
Where's my coffee? Did you have some? Mm. Ah! What are you doing? Keep quiet. <laughs> what are you going to do? You do as I say. Don't ask any questions. I'm going to get you out of this. There. There's the bridge. Oh, what a height. Mm, I wouldn't care to fall off that. Let me have that gun. Change that. Now you get back into my room, and if you meet anybody, call up like the devil. Come on, and forget it. Don't ask me anything, please. couldn't get to him.
I'm so sorry. Oh, thanks. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, I'm looking after him. He's very ill. He should be in a hospital. We'd be in Yola, his destination, in about an hour. There's a sanatorium there. Well, I'm an old friend of his. I take him off the train there. That's the best thing. <laughs> You'll find the sanitarium away down there, at the end of that street. Oh, thanks. I'll take good care of you. 